Hey, greetings, dear Virgo. This is Tarot Illumination. It's just a mini playlist for the middle of the month, especially regarding this full moon. I hope you get this video in time and make the best of it, okay? Hopefully it'll set you up for the next week or so till we get to the uh, June reports, okay? So I'm gonna give you a little glimpse of a Tarot Illumination Astro Doodle in just a second. Cards are already well shuffled in advance, but I go to the last second so that you are a witness. And you'll see what I'm talking about in just a moment. Here we go. Let's put this aside. Let's get this thing out here. So let's find you. Okay, Virgo, where are you? Over here. Okay, so now you are the star of this video. Okay, this is the horizon axis. Okay, this is the horizon here. Okay, so I'm doing the same thing. Okay, this is the horizon, and that's the Virgo energy over here. So you see this full moon, okay? It's happening at the very tippy edge of your third house, the very tippy edge of your ninth house. So it's very much about communications and knowledge and wisdom and learning and understanding up here and bringing that down to earth in ways that are very practical and, let's say, functional here, okay? There's a big stellium right now. <clears throat> of all this Taurus energy, which is very comfortable for you anyway, because it's an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It's very harmonious, okay? So you've kind of got a bit of a sweet spot here. You're kind of lucky in a way. So, you know, some planets don't have that sweet spot right now. The Scorpio energy is harmonious with you, and the Taurus energy is very harmonious with you. So my view is that this full moon and the few days after is a big, big setup about you getting prepared to figure out what it really, really means. Like, who am I really on this planet? What am I really doing here? What is my destiny? What is my career? What is my place in this world? And why did I incarnate here? What is my responsibility here on the planet? Okay, over here in the 10th house, ruled by Gemini, which you'll see sort of like in the you know, the, the, the June report's coming up very soon, all right? So some of the things you might be learning or understanding here in this culmination at this full moon uh, would be happening in the context of relationships. You know, this is the axis of relationship. So I hope you get this video in time and you get a glimpse through the world of your relationships about what it is you really need to know uh, expanding your consciousness, foreign people, foreign places, foreign wisdom, foreign, foreign understanding, like big, big downloads from heaven above to get you prepped up for your destiny, your career, okay? So what's going on there? I see that as quite harmonious. Let's have a look. Cards are well shuffled. I just said that. Watch for your sun, moon, and rising. Of course, you know the drill and reinterpret as necessary. You know, we can just sort of loosely touch on the vibes here, but it's up to you to reinterpret to get this to work specifically for you. And just at the end, we're going to pull a little oracle, the healing power of surrender, uh, which of course nobody wants to do, but it really does help. Okay, so here we go. And please invite your invisible friends so that this becomes a uh, team effort, okay? Because that's what we do here at Terra Illumination. I could not do this without my invisible friends seriously okay so here's the situation here is the challenges with all of this and here's how we're going to handle it let's look at the situational energy circumstantial energy environmental influences i like to think of it as the weather okay and this is the moon thing let's just pretend we just had the full moon and it's already waning okay with the nine with the seven of pentacles here Okay, this is classic Virgo energy anyway. So my feeling is that it's really, really important for Virgos right now to understand your self-worth. Okay, sorry, excuse me. This is a nine, dual. Okay, this is a nine, nine of pentacles. So my feeling is that this is really like, it's like, this is potentially a really good uh, like moment in time for Virgos where you get a chance to realize like wow you know i've i've got certain amounts of kudos i have certain gifts talents and resources that are actually very very valuable i might not be rich or famous but 
with the with the nine of pentacles here this is to me looks like it's a really really powerful reminder from the heavens from the great beyond to understand how incredibly lucky you are in your gifts and talents talents and to use these to optimize yourself so that you become more and more and more the most optimized Virgo that you possibly can be. So you don't really have to look outside of yourself for validation or senses of self-worth. So I think that aligns very strongly with this full moon here for you, okay? Now, because it's a full moon, we're talking about the dynamics of relationship. And it's in this part of your life to do what we talked about earlier, especially uh, expansion of consciousness and prepping up for your, uh, like the, the next year of what your destiny looks like. I want to point something out here. Even though it's very harmonious with all this Neptune Pisces thing going on, Neptune in Pisces is actually opposing you, okay? on your own relationship axis. I'm not gonna mess up the astrodoodle, but you need to be aware of this. In the world of love and relationship, you're potentially very, very, very vulnerable to like illusions. And uh, the flip side of the beauty of Neptune and Pisces, where everything that appears to be just like divinely ordained and beautiful and uh, like spiritually meaningful for in, you in love and relationship ends up to be completely bogus. So be very, very careful. Just be very, very careful. Um, center yourself. Really kind of get tuned into your own sense of self-worth where you are not contingent upon others' opinions or anything like that. Your sense of self-worth is completely self-contained, okay? And so you don't have to answer to anybody, okay? You can be happy from within. Like, it doesn't actually matter. Even if you are in a very, let's say, nebulous relationship where there are difficulties and misunderstandings and confusion and illusions and losses and betrayal and suffering, it's not the end of the world. You still have you, okay, Virka? You still have you. So what's the situation here? Okay. So with temperance here, my feeling is that uh, right now at this reading, it's, it's, it's kind of like a Virgo theme about the art of balance, balancing your life in such a way so that you can optimize yourself, look at yourself, and like get into this point of like su serene, supreme balance in love and relationship. Doing it by yourself. Don't don't ask for anything uh, from anyone else. Just like do the work on yourself from within, classic Virgo style, like it's a chore, and then realize from here. Okay, like despite the the good or bad about whatever is happening over here, you've still got this. Like you can still claim full responsibility for your like your evolution, your advancement, your increasing wisdom and knowledge to be who you need to be when you come into your sense of destiny coming forward, okay? It's up to you. You've got it. There's so much that you can learn from others at this time. It might be the hard way, red dots, and it could be the easy way, the fun way, green dots, okay? But either way, we're advancing and learning, evolving, adapting, and growing, and that is part of like your, it's almost like your mission right now is to like grab hold of that energy that's out there with the moon and the planets and everything and turn it to your maximum benefit. All about you right now. Focus on you. What is best for you? What is the most loving, healing thing for you to attain harmony and balance, peace and healing in your life? You are number one, okay? Number one, like, and it's not contingent upon anyone else, their opinion, uh, their wealth, uh, uh, whether they're sloppy or whether they're disrespectful towards you. None of that matters. All that matters here right now is you uh, optimizing yourself, being the loving most person you can be for yourself, okay? And don't worry about anyone else. Now, what's the challenge here? Because Virgos, you know, you're kind of programmed to be that person for others where you, you 
you take care of a lot of crap that a lot of people don't want to take care of, and that becomes your gift. And so uh, Virgos can be highly appreciated, but uh, sometimes often ignored or not very well rewarded because it's sometimes seen as many menial, like, oh, well, they'll take care of that. Pretend I'm the other person, okay, Virgo? Pretend I'm the other person. Like, oh, don't worry, Virgo will take care of that. No, that's, just who, that's who they are. That's what they do. Uh, they don't expect rewards. It's just, that's Virgo. Sorry, Virgo. You do deserve to be appreciated and understood. You do deserve to, uh, let's say, live out your personal destiny so that you're not ever, always picking up after everyone else, okay? Let's have a look here. What's the challenge with this? Okay, so let's just say it might be something to do with relationships um, and whether it's going to work out or not. Okay, that's part of it. But the other part of it to me feels here is like, like it's almost like, gosh, terror illumination. I wish I really believed in myself as much as you believe in me right now. The Four of Pentacles here is like, to me, it looks like an energy of like, seriously, Virgo, you should be celebrating. Your, your talents, your gifts, your independence, your resources, your individuality, your individuation, where you don't answer to anybody and you don't demean yourself, you don't diminish yourself to uh, like just to sort of do the Virgo thing on autopilot. You deserve to be the best Virgo that you can be. And it might be difficult, but the, let's just say the planets are working for you right now to. Uh, help you realize that. I'm going to go back to the charts. Here's something that just occurred to me. Okay. Let me go back over here. Okay. So where is that Jupiter thing? Okay. So all of this stuff is retrograde right now down here. Okay. So you might have issues going on in your home and your family and in love and relationship over here, especially the romance the romantic side of things and the fun and the happiness side of things and whether it's working for you or not in your home. And if it's not working for you, that's why I put this in orange because even though the Capricorn stuff is typically good for you, it's all retrograde and it's very serious and heavy duty. And the Jupiter is retrograde in your home sector, home and family. So if you've got a lot of challenges going on in there right now, that needs to be understood and factored in so that doesn't like mess up your destiny and your career and your chance to be happy and to be a real, to be the Virgo that you deserve to be, that you can celebrate outwardly. To me, it feels like there's a lot of pent up energy that you're not able to celebrate openly in public with others that you would really love to do if you were as like supremely healed and balanced as you could be. So that's a problem. And Virgos, you tend to be very shy about these things anyway. Like, do I really have to go public? I would love to go public and share my most awesome Virgoness. On the other hand, uh, I don't know about that. Let's have a look. How do we deal with this? Okay, the Ten of Pentacles. My feeling is to look at your physical reality right now down here on earth for, for don't worry about the all the the heavenly stuff out here right now and let's just take the the moon thing and extrapolate here it's harmonious for you it's good for you uh the scorpio taurus axis is good for you so let's grab hold of that and look at it what look what is working what is actually working for you what is the good stuff that's happening for you in love. And this is not a love and relationship reading, but I feel obliged to point this out. Okay. Simply because we've got the Neptune thing here and because the full moon is going to accent relationships for better or worse. So we might as well take advantage of it and look at the, let's say, number one, forget about the other people significant others, whatever, just focus on you. What is it that you've got right now in your life, in your world, the foundations of your life in romance and love and relationship that is true, that is genuine, that is measurable, and go with that. Anything that is even slightly bogus or nebulous 
or has elements of, let's say, buried or, okay, I'm going to go back to this again. Anything buried here that could be stuff that you really don't want to deal with, Virgo, because it's too sensitive, too awkward. If you've got ongoing issues in love and relationship that are not resolved and not healed, and that's messing up your chance to like expand and grow and live out your true destiny, we need to acknowledge that, Virgo. You need to acknowledge that and focus on the stuff that is true. Who really loves you? And can you measure that? Okay. And then what are you going to do about it? And also remember how much a gift that you are to certain significant others in your life and their world. And it's about time that they understand that. Sometimes people don't understand how incredibly blessed they are to have you in their lives until you're not there. Okay. But then again, that's not your problem, Virgo. That's their life soul lesson journey. So my feeling right now is to tune in to what truly, truly enhances your sense of self-worth, your sense of richness, abundance, and happiness above all else, above significant others, above anyone and everybody. Just make it all about you. And like, let's just say it's you get that sense of self healing there and it's strong enough then you might actually consider sharing that okay with others or with a significant other in a way that is truly healthy as a, as opposed to a way that is unhealthy all right so let's actually let's just shuffle this over i'm going to pull the power of surrender here i'm trying to help you okay virgo I'm not saying the Ten of Pentacles here is all about you're just going to suddenly win the lottery and become uh, rich and you don't have to answer to anybody anymore um, and just live in your you know, financial independence. What I'm sensing here more is about self-worth and that you are valued to the point where it is worth sharing, okay? Where you are appreciated and celebrated, truly celebrated and appreciated, okay? And you don't have to be like the invisible Virgo in the background who's just picking up after everybody. You can celebrate and come out and enjoy your life in this world right now, okay? Enjoy your abundance. Enjoy your own talents, okay? Cards are already shuffled well in advance. I'm going to go to the last second so that you're a witness, okay? And then that will be your card, and we'll just interpret it, and then you can reinterpret it. Don't forget, Virgos, watch for your sun, moon, and rising, you know, if you have to, if they're all different, okay? So this is your card. The power of surrender. Surrender to complete healing, okay? I'm emphasizing complete, not partial cleaning, healing, complete healing. So, you know, especially with that Neptune thing, we could talk, be talking about very seriously buried deeply ignored very very hard issues to understand or diagnose when it comes to uh, love and relationship but i think you're going to get an understanding at the full moon about what's really going on and what's not what is good and what's not good what is good and what's not good and it might not be comfortable because if whatever is not good dot 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 dot, dot red line is really, really hard to handle, then it's uncomfortable, but it needs to be addressed. We need to deal with it in order for the healing, in order for your own abundance to manifest, okay? So I'm su uh, suggesting, in other words, partial healing is not allowed, okay? You can't just sort of say, oh, I'll just take an aspirin. You know, you can't do that. We've got to do deep, deep soul healing here, deep, deep soul healing, okay? To the very core of the relationship dynamics, especially. Open fully to the loving, compassionate forces of the universe that support your physical, emotional, and spiritual healing. Virgo, you're probably already doing this, but my feeling here with this car is that we've got to take it to the next level, okay? Seriously, all right? I hope that helps you, Virgos. 
uh, you know the routine, watch for your sun, moon, and rising. Actually, I'm going to click out here. I'm going to share with you. I'll let you know that I am actually a real person, not just wobbly hands. And then we'll just check out, okay? How about that? So this is Terra Illumination. Thank you so much, Virgo, for listening. Please do the routine that every channel asks for. Likes, subscribes, comments. It really, really does help, especially membership. Anything we can right now would really be appreciated, okay? Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure to read for you. And we'll see you guys again soon, all right? Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Virgos.